today, today I wanted to go over uh, a semi-refresher for the MLB season. As you guys know, every time a season begins, we go back, we review all the... I'll be honest, I, I forget half these settings every single time we start a new season. But that's why you guys are here. You guys help me remember uh, how to win some tournaments, because I forget. And you guys are my friends, I think. And we are going to put a big puzzle together today and hopefully have... Uh, what is the beginning of a great MLB process for this season? So for this, of course, I will use FC. It is what I use. A lot of a lot of top players use, man. A lot of top players use. I am not going to finesse. Uh, I am not going to pretend. I'm not going to influence. That's what I'm using. All right. Um, and I will go back to a random date in 2019, dude. We even have. Have you guys seen this, by the way? I don't know if this works, but it would be pretty darn cool if it worked. Have you guys seen this? You click this and you click 2020. You can't see it. Can you imagine going back to 2014? You can't. But can you imagine? That'd be epic. 2019. Uh, I'm just going to click a random day. I don't know. Dark mode, please. Oh. Did you guys see you can do this? Did you guys see you can do this? Virus thing. So um, first off, I always love going to the advanced options because, eh, you know, you guys know how this works. This is your standard table, right? This is your standard FC. You guys have seen this for five years already. I don't need to go over this. This might look a little bit different to a lot of you, right? We have it done MLB streams in a really, really long time. Really, really long time. So as we do every single season, this might look a little bit foreign to you. It looks to me. It looks to me, but it's not overwhelming at all. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of just go one by one through each setting, what it means, kind of how we use it, why we use it. MLB, the nature of the sport, the variance, randomness, um, in the sport and how we can take advantage, what has worked best for me in the past, what other pros use, and then you guys have the ability to use whatever you'd like uh, in, in your process, right? Um, Unique's very, very simple. We actually use Unique's for every single sport. All this means is unique players per lineup. You make your best lineup. Your next best lineup has to have at least one player different, two players different, three players different, four players different from the previous lineup uh, to count towards your however many overall lineups you're making. I think this is very simple. Minimum salary, <clears throat> if you want 49.5, uh, I don't know, just 49, 40, uh, 44.900, whatever you, I, I don't know, 49.500, sorry. If you want 49.00, zero, 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 you could do whatever you want. That's your minimum salary. For me, um, so it depends on what you're doing with teams, right? Um, some teams, because we play so many teams in MLB, you're not going to use that much of your salary, right? A Boston's heart of the order is not the same as the Marlins heart of the order. Therefore, you're not going to use all of the salary, most likely, unless you're just playing Max Scherzer and, I don't know, whoever else has your pitchers. And that way you get the salary that way. For the most part, I think you should be extremely lenient with minimum salary. Um, salary is not, uh, that is not a, a highly predictive sport, right? For the most part, like NBA, where you can use most of your salary and gain the point per dollar value, whatever you want to call it. Um, here, that doesn't apply too much, but I can understand why you don't want to go to the $45,000 range for a lineup. Um, and the shorter the slate, the more lenient you want to be. Not enough options. You still want to get different in big tournaments, all that stuff, right? So uh, for the salary part, um, I'd say be extremely lenient. If you want to go even 48000 I think that's fine too. Um, I'd even recommend just no minimum salary at all. Just make the best possible lineups you want, right? Uh, max hitters versus pitchers. This is an interesting one because um, for the most part, regular slates, we don't want any hitters versus our pitchers, right? I don't want to play Max Scherzer in my lineup and then have people against him um, in, 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 in that same lineup. Uh, the only spot or place or time for this is when it's a small slate, right? Two gamers, three gamers, four gamers. There isn't enough... Um, options or ways to get different on a slate for showdown of course this is going to be 
turned off by default. Um, there's just no way around it for small slates. And you could argue that the more you put in small slates, two, even three hitters against your pitchers in a two-game slate, three-game slate, that'll be more contrarian, more different, more unique. And that'll set you apart from the rest of the um, <clears throat> from the from the lineups in the tournament, and and hopefully get you up there. But if it's not a small slate, if it's not a showdown, two game, three game, four game, I, I say you are back to normal with and just leave it at default. Don't play anyone against your pitcher. Uh, obviously, there's some negative correlation there. Global exposure settings, pretty simple, right? Um, how much do you want to cap everyone at? You don't have, you can do this individually, but in case you wanted to do everyone at the same time, you could change all players. And if you go back to your table, you see that everyone's capped at 50%. That's how much you can have of one player in your 10 lineups. You won't have more than 50% of anyone. <clears throat> Do you want that? No, I don't. I don't recommend that for anyone. Uh, but in case you wanted to do that, in case that's part of your strategy, then for sure you can. And that's an easy way to do it. If you want to go individually, you can go individually. You can go one by one doing whatever. Right. <clears throat> also, a little quick trick, you know, this if you wanted to just do all your hitters only and put your hitters at 100, apply to and then you wanted to do your pitchers individually and say, leave your pitchers at 50, you can too. Right. Uh, those are just easy tips on how to set global settings, but you don't have to. And then, of course, doing your each or groups. If you're a longtime FC user, we've kind of renamed this to be a little bit. Uh, we explain this just a little bit better um, by default will be each. So it's like a running calculation of your uh, percentages. This is just an overall. So it can use Mike Trout on the first five lineups out of your 10 to get to the 50, and then it'll never use them again. Each, which is default, will use them in the first lineup, won't use them in the second, and it'll keep trying to keep him under 50% as long as you make however many lineups you're going, right? I always recommend each. Um, I think a lot of the, most of the top players now use each. Uh, it's just a better way of doing things, I think. Better way of mixing things up, especially when you're doing um, stacks individually or even in other sports if you're doing team even in NFL if you're doing quarterback and the receivers you're doing your 10 Kansas City stacks it'll be better to do it this way um, at least I think right uh, that's what I use <clears throat> that's what I recommend uh, if you want to try and experiment with the others by all means knock yourself out randomness so if you went back to that video and you saw that video um, I, I was talking about the brick video a little bit earlier um, he was explaining randomness. His was high level talk of randomness. But um, when he got to the point of kind of explaining what randomness is, uh, it was, I wouldn't say it was challenging, right? But it was reading the tooltip. I know people can still get lost reading this. So it reads, randomness adds a variable range to each projection during the calculation. This can be used to account for uncertainty in projections. This will also increase the speed of calculating. And then in parentheses, you put if you're calculating many lineups at the cost of accuracy. Um, what randomness is, and there's two versions here. What randomness is, is just a range, right? It, it, it's a range. And for the classic example is someone has a 10 point projection. Uh, you want to put 10% randomness on him. His, his projection in any given lineup that you produce will be anywhere from 9 to 11, right? And using the classic randomness it'll be completely random where that projection lies. And then using the normal distribution, it'll work like a normal distribution curve. For those of you, there's gonna be a lot of you, and I always say, I learned this from my radio days, not just 12 minutes, you have to explain it like they're five, right? A, a, normal distribution curve looks like this. This is the normal distribution curve, okay? where most of the projections that it's going to use is going to be somewhere here. And as it th thins out at the end, it'll use less and less of those projections, where in the classic randomness, it uses this whole range. It could be random wherever it falls. It could land here 17 quadrillion times if it's random enough. You know what I mean? So, um, It'll use more of what's in the middle and what's within that one standard deviation way more than it'll use what's on the outside, right? So um, where you want to where you want to set this randomness to, I think, depends on the sport, 
uh, how how much of your player pool you want to get, how much you want to distribute your percentages. Um, and as you start applying randomness, if you want, um, I suggest you go into rewind and try this out over and 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 over. And over. Um, just to see how it affects your lineups, affects your portfolio of, you know, 20 lineups, 50 lineups, 100, 150, whatever you use. And and don't just randomly just go in and say, man, he said use randomness. Let's go. 30% randomness. Someone said Osimo uses 70. Well, if you don't know why he uses 70, don't use 70, you know? Because I also heard that. I also heard 75% and he calculates like 3,000 lineups. Well, if you don't know what, what he's doing, don't just copy him. You have to understand what he's doing. And trust me, he is not doing what you think he's doing. So don't just blindly say, Osimo said 75% randomness, 3,000 lineups, and just pick random in there. That is not what he's doing. So don't even bother, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's better that you get a, a good understanding, first of all, of what randomness does to your lineups, and then why, if you're trying to follow him, why he does that, okay? So don't just randomly smash buttons in here with, a bizzle 3000 randomness that that doesn't that does not work like that i promise um uh so so before I, I think that's a pretty good explanation of randomness but if you want to try this i suggest you try it first with no money on the line so you don't have those customer service emails saying yo randomness gave me garbage players garbage product can you give me a refund okay that's happened before that's happened many times <laughs> FC gave me. Shut up, dude. You obviously have no idea what you're doing. Um, so uh, I I say don't just randomly do that, okay? Um, anyway, we continue. Minimum projected, minimum projection included in calculation is what you want the min So, like for example, you have a bunch of a bunch of projections here. If you don't want anyone used under a projection of three, that's what that means. It won't use anyone under three. They have to have a minimum projection of three to be included in your calculations. And again, if you hover this, hover over this, you will see what that means, right? Um, I think that's the very easy part of the settings. Um, and, and that's not really where you get the edge. I think that's pretty standard uh, for most players in the industry. Uh, they'll have two to three uniques, I think, right? They'll have some sort of minimum salary depending on sport. Uh, max no hitters, no one really plays hitters against their pitchers unless it's a small slate. Um, you like differentiating as probably running percentages. And then if you wanna add 10 or 20% randomness to mix it up a little bit more, you do. Um, I think we have, you know, the better version of randomness. Um, but, but, but that's standard in everyone's process already. Mm -hmm.